right, this is our uh, third batch of reef darts. A reef dart is a, uh, a vertical power pole that's been modified that when it's pushed off the barge, it orients vertically in the water column, just like you see them on the barge here. It's still all very experimental, but we're repurposing these power poles and other materials like culverts uh, that might otherwise end up in area landfills. We've pushed out to 500 feet this year. We're trying to create marine habitat for overfished species of snapper and grouper. There's no hard habitat out here. It's all mud and silt. So there's a lot of tile fish out here, but there's no habitat that would support groupers and snappers. And what we're trying to do is increase marine habitat for those species of fish. So we're real excited about this. It's another big day for the West Palm Beach Fishing Club. But the interesting thing about it is if this really works, can you just imagine we don't have anything south of Fort Pierce all the way down into the Keys that's structured in this type of water. We could actually have Broward County, Dade County could do the similar type things and you could have a breeding structure going all the way down to the Keys and have species of, of deep water grouper that we've never had in this type of thing. It, it's not only the grouper, but it's also the spat from the coral. We might even have Oculina coral growing here. Once you get that colonized and you have that, then you end up with a whole different other species of, of juvenile fishes and that type of thing too. So it's a whole different habitat. This is, that's what's so unique is that now you're trying to do something for pelagics, for grouper, and those types of things that will aggregate to something that is vertical in the water column, which makes it totally, totally unique. 